Hey you guys, what is up and what is happening with you? With me, I just, uh, I'm in the mood to just chill, play with some makeup. I got some new goodies to try out today as well as some products that are just new to me and some old classic favorites that I just want to try to like, you know, use up because I need to go through my makeup. It is time for a declutter. I think I've been saying that for months now, but like seriously, it's getting really difficult to go through my stuff. So a declutter video hopefully will happen soon. But that's not this video. This video is just a chill video. Baby is sleeping in her crib for the first time. Let's see if she naps well in it. I don't know. I waited a really long time to have my first daughter go into her crib. So I'm trying to do a little bit sooner now. We'll see. Wish me luck. We'll see. So I'm just going to chill. Uh, go grab yourself a drink or a snack. Chill with me. Go grab your makeup. Yeah, like do your makeup with me if you're just chilling or do some laundry. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you want to do. You do you, boo. But the point is, come hang out. This is just a chill video and uh, we're gonna talk and play with some makeup, okay? So if you're ready for that and you wanna, if you want me to shut up and start getting started, throw on stuff on my face, then, then you're in the right place and all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Beow. Okay, so I have a lot of primers that I want, I don't wanna try out. I want to try them all out, but I'm not gonna be able to in this video. I wish, I did this live so I could do, I should have done a poll on my Instagram stories or my YouTube community feed, but I didn't. So here we are, it's too late. Um, all these new primers that I have, I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. It's sad, it's not new. It's like a month or two old, but in the makeup world, that's like 92 years, but <laughs> it's still new. I heard that this is a lot like the Jelly Pop Primer from e.l.f., but that one's harder to find. This one should be a little bit easier. So I do wanna try that, but I have these Milani ones that they sent me in PR, and and I really want to try one of these too. There is the Peach Glass Skin Primer. That sounds really nice. And then there is the Redness Correcting Primer with Avocado Extract. So, what do I want to do? <laughs> I feel like more people might be interested in seeing this Peach Glass Skin Primer because it piqued my interest the most out of everything. So let's do that. And first and foremost, does it smell like peach? Let's see. Oh, it's kind of like lotion-y. Yeah, there's a light peach smell, which is very lovely, but I know not everybody likes fragrance products. I was expecting it to be like a clear silicone-y primer, to be honest, because it says glass skin, but it is a lotion. Let's put it on real quick. I am just uh, sitting on my bed, chilling, crisscross applesauce style. Really, seriously, just want to play and have some fun. No agenda. <laughs> my hair looks like all weird up here too. Okay, this feels nice. I definitely smell the peach though when I'm putting it on. So if you wanna stay away from fragrance, yeah, don't, don't do this. It is definitely dewy. Yeah, you see all that glowy dewiness right here? We'll see if it kind of maintain, maintains when I put my topping products on top, but it does give a really nice glassy look. This is really pretty. That's really pretty. I do see a little bit more pores though, you know, but it doesn't claim to reduce pores, so. Yeah, there's no surprise there. So now let's go in. I like to conceal my cheeks. You know the spiel if you watch me, yada, yada, yada. So I'm just gonna grab my Tarte Shape Tape in the light neutral shade. Let's conceal that and see if you can still see that glossy, glowy, dewy skin underneath. So far, so good. You know, I have a little bit of redness on my chin and I kind of want to play around with this redness one. Let's see. Let's try this real quick too. <laughs> Redness correcting primers are typically green, just like this one is, but usually they kind of, you know, rub in clear. Yeah, I don't know if this will have enough pigment for redness correcting. Uh, not really. No, I see the same amount of redness. So it has like a silicone-y feel too. I wonder if this will help on the pores more so. Oh, it does help on the pores more. And I'm putting on top of that concealer and it's doing fine. I wonder if it's just mattifying it though, yeah, whatever. Okay, now foundation, I'm gonna use my old classic favorite that I, I mean, I've used off camera many times, but I haven't used it on camera in forever and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. If I want a full beat, full glam, this is the foundation that I use and I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with concealer too really quickly, no, nothing new. This is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer, which I had reviewed about a month or so ago, right before I had the baby actually. So if you wanna check out that review, my thoughts still stand. I feel like this, it's not worth it to go buy a whole separate one, but it's a little bit more hydration than the original Shape Tape, a little bit. Let me throw all that on really quickly and then we'll try some more new stuff together. Wait a second, 
there was one other thing that I wanted to use on camera and I just put stuff on my eyes. Okay, let me take this off because it's an under eye brightener that you put underneath concealer. If this eye looks a little bit different, then we'll, we'll know why. Okay, so there is this new one from Milani, the peach line as well, called the Tinted Under Eye Brightener. Let's see if it has a tint because it doesn't have a shade name on it. And I've been using their supercharged uh, under eye brightening, under eye brightening under eye tint from the like orange line. They have so many fruit lines now. It's, it's everything I've tried has been really good, but it's getting a little bit over, overwhelming. I got a whole like fruit salad on my face. Oh, there's like a tint to it. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit thicker than the supercharged and it almost has a little bit more pigment. I think my windows, my lighting, you know, is kind of blowing it out a little bit, but there is a little bit more pigment, but then I mean, I guess it's more peach tone, but why wouldn't you have a couple shades? Cause I feel like this would be too dark for light skin tones and you know too light for dark skin tones let's try putting it right here it's even a little bit too dark for my eyes you know what i should have done i should have just kept the concealer there and then did the under eye one on the other eye so that i can compare side by side and see if it really made any difference at all you know what it did correct the darkness that i have on the inner corners of my eyes a little bit so that is quite nice, actually. I think though, I prefer, maybe? I don't know, I have to see. But I do really like the supercharged one and this one comes in three shades. So I don't know, I might like that one better, but I do also like this one. So no, I guess, it, I, guess I like it equally. Okay, now let me go back in with my Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape and cover up brief intermission because baby woke up and she's going back to sleep now. I think she had a little bit of tummy trouble. So she's going back to sleep and I'll be back in a second to continue on my makeup. But I just want to like I said, chill, show you some real life action today and hang out. And this is, this is part of what's going on in my life right now. Okay. So I'm back. Let's see. Let's see for how long. Okay. So I got this brush from e.l.f. I ordered a bunch of brushes from e.l.f. because I've always had heard good things about them, but I've never actually tried them before. And this one I believe is the brush that Raw Beauty Christie and Samantha Ravindall were like raving about. I think it was last year or the year before the precision, the precision airbrush stipple brush for like blushes and stuff. It looks super weird though. So I don't know if I ordered the right one. I thought I did, but then I got it and like, this is a weird looking, but maybe, maybe I remember Christy saying that in one of the videos, like that it looked weird, but Samantha was like, no, try it. I don't know, but it's like this and it has like these little extra long hairs that come up. A couple just shed, but I'm gonna use this with this blush the milani cheek kiss cream blush i love these but they just sent me a new one called you're a peach from the peach collection so i'm just gonna take that on this i usually use a beauty blender but let's try this out see i still see all of that glow too from that glass skin primer so that is really nice i am digging that primer so far oh that like deposits a lot let's see if it blends out nice it's super soft i felt all these elf brushes and they are super duper soft which is great hmm. well i'll be <laughs> that was pretty nice okay okay i do like that off of first cheek impression i would say it deposits more than like a dampen beauty blender which is no surprise because this is a brush and they tend to do that but i like it Ooh, you guys that's nice i like it that is lovely okay so i'm gonna go in now with the new tarte shape tape glow powder this looks nice okay it looks right up my alley i hope it's not too illuminating like too much shimmeriness to it but i read the description and it seems like another option of the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, the, the, her setting powder pressed one that the number seven is a total dupe for the lift and illuminate powder, but we'll believe it when I see it. This one is in the shade Starlit. So I don't know. Let me, let me do a little, oh wow. It is way more illuminating. You're not gonna be able to see it, but just take my word for it. Yeah. I don't think you can see it. No, it looks more powdery on the hand. Actually, when I finger swatch it, it looks like it has a luminosity to it. I'm gonna use this little Sigma brush. Let me pat out my under eyes because it's been like a half an hour since I put my concealer on. There's no mirror in this. I, 
I, this is the travel size? I thought I ordered the travel size and this is really big. Hmm, hey Siri, look up Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder in Starlit. Oh, Siri never works. Hey Siri, search Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder in Starlit. Point two four is a full size. Oh, this is the half size. This is the half size, but honestly, that's a big size. So I don't see why you would even need to bother with the full size one. If you're like me and have a million setting powders, I keep telling myself that I'm not gonna buy more setting powders. <laughs> Yet here I am. So this is like a different one though, because it's like glowy and setty at the same time. It has too much color. Oh no. It is too dark for me, which they did have three different shades and the travel one, they only had the one, I guess this is more of like the medium one, but it is really pretty. They said, I believe I was reading comments on their posts and they said this is like the version of their glow wand, but in a powder, which I was totally for. So that is so incredibly glowy. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. I might go grab the lighter one or next time I do an order, I'll get the lighter one. It's not like super obvious that it's too dark, but, and in the summer when I get a little bit tanner, have a little more color to me, it will be perfect. But that is nice. I hope you guys can see the difference here. Cause that, I mean, it's still glowy cause of the primer, but that is just, it's nice because sometimes glowy base products, you'll lose it when you go to use setting powder. And this, you could just do this instead or it won't take away and mattify at all. So that's really cool. Okay. They also said you can use this as like a natural highlight. I was seeing people wondering and you know, Tarte would never say yes or no, but if this was like the ambient lining powder from Hourglass, which is way more expensive, this would be a great dupe for it. Yeah, this is nice. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Now the thing I notice, because I have more like deep set under eyes when I'm tired, I don't have puffiness, I have the reverse. When I put glowy highlighting products there, it definitely is more pronounced. But honestly, I don't even care because this looks so, so pretty. I was not expecting to like it that much. I'm just like freaking putting it all over. Oh my gosh. It's very, very pretty. It's not like tiny itty bitty sparkles or anything like that. There's just a gorgeous, gorgeous luminosity. Wow, okay. Haven't heard one single person talk about this yet. Check it out, okay? Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder. Again, I have the Starlit one, which is more of a medium, but now that it's set on my skin, it actually kind of blended in a little bit better. And it feels set too, but not dry. Oh, I like that, okay. All right, I'm gonna go throw on some bronzer and maybe a little bit more highlight from this Too Faced Natural Face palette. Obviously it's not new, but like I said, try to utilize more in my collection and try to figure out what do I need to declutter that I'm not using anymore, you know. Okay, so I just threw on my eyebrows while I was at it and I did a little bit of the powder brush, blush from that, uh, bleh, words, from the Too Faced Natural Eyes. I used that same brush though. Where, where did it go? My gosh, man, this is my brain right now. Um, anyways, the, the e.l.f. brush I was using, I'm gonna go with the cream blush. It worked with the powder as well. I might have gone a little too ham actually, or the lighting's just a little bit darker. I am filming in front of my windows again. Let me know how you guys have been liking this because I feel like you can see everything really well and then I don't have to set up a million lights. And that is what I got to do right now to make things actually happen so I can actually film for you guys. But anyways, I have no new eyeshadow palettes. I have some other eye products, but they're new to me. I got these in the Huda Beauty mystery boxes, the Mercury Retrograde palette, which I've been loving, and then the Nude Rich palette, which I haven't used yet. And I'm feeling like I might need to do a really quick look, but I also have this Danessa Myricks Cream Fix in Gold Mine, and this is not a very goldy palette. Hang on, let me see. Well, let me see this in retrograde. Yeah, okay, actually I will use this one, but I'm gonna do a really simple look really quickly. Monument too light for me. Let's see, no, Momentum. Momentum, it's just the like light nude shade if you have this palette. And let's just blend. I already put an eye primer down. Like now I feel like I need to, uh, you know, 
get move on because I don't know how much longer baby will sleep, but she's doing good so far, you know? We'll take what we can get. Sleep, you know, and sleep transitions and new areas is not gonna be something that's instant. It definitely takes time. But with my first daughter, I kind of started a little bit too, not too late, but it was, it was a difficult thing getting her to transition to her crib. So my mom suggested with this baby to kind of start doing naps if she seems to take to it. And she seems to be into it, you know, she doesn't seem to be fighting that at all. So we'll see. Let's take now this shade down here called Karma and just blend it in. Really, I probably shouldn't be using these palettes to pair with this gold liquid product, but we'll make it work. And I have this beautiful pressed <laughs> metallic in there. So the other thing I'm gonna use is not necessary, but I'm just playing, just having fun. Okay, let's, let's see what we're working with with this before I add anything else. So this is again the Danessa Myricks uh, Color Fix Creams in the shade Gold Mind. No, Gold Mine. I always say gold mine. It's gold mine with no D at the end. It's like Monica when she's like, I'm fine. Yeah, no, you're not fine when you fine, when you put a D at the end of fine. So I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and then dot it on with my fingers. <gasps> wow, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I was playing around with like swatches of these. I haven't put it on the eyes yet, but it was nice because you could either kind of sheer it out or make it really intense or do something in between. So it was very like, customize it to what you want to do. And that is so pretty. So I'm just focusing mo most of it into the inner corner area and just pressing it out to kind of blend it to kind of give it like a blown out kind of gold look. Okay, what do I wanna do now? Because mm, maybe I'm gonna take, sorry, but I'm gonna grab my Nude Rich palette and dip into this brown shade because the pink is throwing it off a little bit, which shouldn't have been surprised, but I didn't think it was gonna be that pink. So let me just neutralize it a little bit. Okay, I got baby nursing right here now, so if you hear some sounds, that's what it is. But I figured out how to make this eye look make a little bit more sense. So I took that Nude Rich palette and I dipped into those bottom two, sh I can't point, those bottom two shades, they're kind of like pinky, brought them onto the outer corners and the lower lash line. And then this shade right here that looks gold is actually one of those really cool shifty ones look at it's like pink and gold so i took that and i was just patting it in between the two colors so that way the matte of the pink goes with the gold of the danessa myricks and that looks so so stinking pretty so i like that so it goes from gold to pink love it let me see what i can do with one hand and my mirror over there so i'm gonna throw on some lip gloss really quickly this is from tarte it's the new man eater lip gloss it's a plumping lip gloss and i got the pink pearl shade which is pink with like little glitter flecks in it and let's see how pigmented it is all by itself i should take off the foundation lips first <laughs> whoa that was a big burp ma'am good job <laughs> You feel better now? Yeah, you feel better? There, hopefully that lighting is a little bit better. I noticed how dark it looks and I was like, wow, it looks like I went crazy on the bronzer. But anyways, that's with the eyes and that's the lippy. It has some pigment to it, it's nice. But let me see if I can throw on some liquid liner real quick and mascara while baby's just chilling right there. You know, this is just how my days go. If I wanna do full makeup or film, I have to. I mean, usually I have her in the wrap as you guys have seen. I wanted to try testing out different options, you know? Let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty. It's not new, but I got it in my mystery boxes from a couple months ago. It's the Life Liner. One side is liquid, one side is a pencil. I don't usually like this kind of liquid. It's one of those I have it, might as well try it, you know? This is why I don't like super liquidy eyeliners because my hooded eyes will stamp it up top. Let's see if it'll come off with a Q-tip. Okay, it did. And then also, I don't love this wherever it went, oh, right here, because the other side is like a gel pencil liner and it doesn't go on the waterline, which is what I usually use it on, the upper waterline, did not work. So don't love that. I like how it looks, but it just, it's too liquidy. I just, me and my hooded eyelids, no, 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 no. Okay, so let's see if I can do my mascara really quickly. I have these new ones from Essence, the Lash Princess. 
I can't remember which one. I used one on a TikTok video and I don't remember which one now. So I think, let me try this fall, no volume. Volume? I think I haven't used this volume one. It's like Princess Aurora. It's their regular formula, but like princess edition looking very cute. See, so, so, so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm holding baby again, by the way. She was like chilling, hanging out. And then she's like, okay, now hold me. And I'm like, that is fine. I will hold you. So this brush head is like kind of weird. Um, I don't know, maybe it was the other one. I don't know. <laughs> it was like a month ago and I was deep in postpartum then. Not that I'm not now, but that was like, about two weeks after I had the baby, so I don't remember which one I was using. You know what? I'm gonna try both because <laughs> now I'm very much questioning myself. I'm gonna go in with the false effects, which is the Snow White one on the other side. Also the freaking liquid liner, if I get any on my lashes, it makes my lashes crunchy. So this is stupid. This is pointless. Okay. This side was too crunchy to tell the difference. I'm just gonna whatever. Okay, let's not review these mascaras right now because my lashes got ruined. Oh, I was gonna throw on falsies if I had time, but I don't have time. I really like how this look came out, you guys. I look so freaking glowy. And the star of the show was hands down that glow powder. What is this called again? The Shape Tape Glow Powder from Tarte. I'm obsessed with that. I don't think it's gonna make my makeup last long necessarily. It definitely might get oily on me and I actually see some kind of like smile lines creasing right here, but I could fix that by throwing in a matte powder just right there and then putting the glowy powder almost everywhere else. It looks freaking gorgeous. So stay tuned if this ends up being one of my favorites this month because right now I can see it making the list just off of this first impressions. It's hard for a product to do that right off the bat, but I seriously think my skin looks so glowy and healthy. I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm really hoping that it's showing up on camera as nicely as it does in real life. I also really like that lip gloss. I also do really like this e.l.f. brush. I didn't think I was gonna like it so much, but it really is cool. That was the airbrush stipple precision brush from e.l.f. Was it called Precision? I don't know, but that's it. That's it. I gotta get going. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today as I just play with some makeup. Let me know down below if you guys are enjoying this kind of setup where I'm just more casual, just chill, and I have the natural lighting going on. Is this working out for you? Are you enjoying it? Let me know because I'm just trying to get creative with my time and what I'm able to do and still provide you guys some fun, interesting content. Hopefully, hopefully this is someone interesting. I don't know, but make sure you subscribe before you go. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all of that for some extended content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.